like the song What the f*** was that? Hey, what's going on guys? It's Recky Brew here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install mods the fastest and easiest way possible for anything above 1.7.10. So, let's get started. First off, you're going to need Forge. Well, not always, but mostly you're going to need Forge. So, what we're going to do is, you're going to go into the description right now and you're going to click the down or the link uh, for Forge. So, I'm going to click it right now. Of course, I have it on my desktop, but it will be in the description in the video. All right, so then once you're on the page, you're going to want to download. Let me just find the right one here. Um, well, most likely, well, we should download mo the most recent version. So uh, go for this one right here. Uh, recommend it 1.7.10. Um, I usually do universal. It doesn't really matter too much, but like I said, so do universal. Um, since I already downloaded it, I'm not going to be downloading it again, but download universal. Now, once you have it downloaded, um, this is actually an auto installer, so it's like super easy for you guys. You don't have to do anything too crazy. Uh, but once you have it downloaded, you'll see it right here. Um, I think I have this one downloaded already, so I'm just going to download this one. Um, so you double click it, like such. Um, it's pretty simple. My computer's a little laggy right now, so it's going to probably take a second or two. Um, but a little menu should pop up. Come on. Where's the little menu? Uh, it should pop up like I was up. There it is right there. Okay. So as you see here, it pops up. Now, the thing is, you actually have to launch uh, Minecraft once in this version. So like if you download the, the 1.10 or 1.7.10 one, you know, you have to launch Minecraft at least once in 1.7.10 before doing this because it has to like base off something. Um, so I think it probably will work for me, but if yeah so like this wouldn't work if you um didn't launch the game at least once so you're going to want to launch minecraft like i said in that version at least once and then this will actually work for you so once you get forge installed um like i said it does auto install for you so it's super easy um then you're going to need your mod which i'm sure you guys probably picked out already or whatever i have mine right here um so yeah once you have your mod then we're going to want to go into the uh minecraft um your minecraft percent app data folder now um i have windows 8 which is a little weird um the easiest way for me to get into my uh app data folder is actually to go into minecraft and go into directory so that's what i'm going to be doing you don't have to do it this way um you know you could just type in percent app data on your uh search menu and it might work but mine does not so yeah like i said my computer is very laggy so just give it a minute for it to load up here um and then we'll you know head right into that um but yeah, I mean, like, once you get good at this, this is actually super, super fast. Of course, it's taking a little while because it's our first time doing it. But like I said, once you get used to this, it should take you no time at all. Um, so once you're in here, this is your percent app data folder. Um, as you can see, you go to percent app data, roaming, and then your dot Minecraft folder, which I'm in right now. Let me just exit out of Minecraft and everything else since I don't need it anymore. <clears throat> okay. So now we're in here. Now you're going to see everything in here. This is all your saves, blah, blah, whatever. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now is we're going to have to make a new mods folder. So you're going to click new folder right here, and then, you know, you're going to rename it mods. Now, make sure it's not capitalized, and make sure there is an S at the end, because that actually does matter a lot, otherwise this will not work. Uh, once you have that folder in there, um, you know, all you basically do is you just drag in whatever mod you're going to be using. I'm going to be using this one. A um, little heads up, just make sure that it's not a plugin and is actually a single player mod, uh, otherwise it will not work. And as you see there is, you know, it is in there. And once it's in there, all you do is exit out of that, load up Minecraft again. I should have kept Minecraft open, I don't know why I got rid of it. Uh, but you load up Minecraft again and the mod should work. Now, um, I'm not sure if, now this is for like I said one point, uh, anything above 1.7.10, um, you know, of course it works for 1.7.8. Wait, 1.8.1. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, it will work for that because um, everything from, like I said, 1.7.10 up is uh, compatible. So this should work for me. I don't know. I might have, uh, I myself actually might have a uh, older version of Forge because I was using a different mod that uses an older Forge. But this might work. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to load it up right now if it works. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but like I said, it should work for you. Um, I don't know if it's going to work for me or not because this is an older forge, but we'll see. 
Come on, baby. Um, so yeah, you're like I said, you guys are gonna want to get. Um, we'll go over one more time. Basically, go in the description, find a link for you know the Forge website. Go there, get the latest version. Um, probably universal, like I said, best thing to do. You know, you're gonna want to click on it twice, open it up install it or you have to run minecraft first in that version so you know switch the version to that and then run it and then you know use the auto installer install it and um, it should work for you like i said i don't know if this is going to work for me but it should we'll see hopefully <laughs> i don't know i'm also lagging a lot because i'm recording but we'll see <clears throat> trying to prove a point to you guys but uh yeah Come on, baby, work for me. There we go. Okay, so once you see the Mojang screen, um, it almost always works. Um, once in a while, it, it won't once this comes on, but this should work now that I see the, Mo the Mojang screen. So hopefully it does. Um, if I wasn't lagging so bad, it would be done already. But uh, yeah. It also does take a while, you know, when you first install a mod to get going, you know, to get to the main menu like this. But it's taken like extra long uh, since I'm recording, but yeah. But anyway, guys, um, hopefully this was easy enough for you guys. Okay, looks like it's worked for me. Let me just check my mods folder. Anime battle mod, that's when I installed. Okay, so it looks like it worked. Um, I'm not going to try out my mod, but it is in there. Um, as you guys saw, this is the one I downloaded, anime battle mod, and I have another one. Uh, but yeah, so that's how, uh, you know, that's how you install mods, the quickest and easiest way possible. Like I said, it should be really quick for you guys once you actually, you know, get the hang of this. Of course, it took a little while for our first time here. Uh, but yeah, so if you did enjoy the video, please do not forget to leave a like. Um, I appreciate it a lot. And if you really enjoyed the tutorial, why not hit that subscribe button? Alrighty, guys, see you later and have a nice day.